office today and we have the Femi TX10 controller. Femi, we have a problem, but hopefully we have a fix. It's called a reflash. Okay, we have an internal timing issue with the clock and I'll show you exactly what I mean here. Let's start the controller up. Okay, and just watch. Watch when it starts up and look at the time. Follow the time. And the time is in the top up here in this corner after the flash screen. Now there is an SD card in the controller, so you will get the SD card flash screen. And you just swipe up, okay? Swipe up, there we go. Okay, so notice the time. Can you see the time there? Okay, see the time in that top corner? Okay, what we're gonna do is, it's 12.07, okay? The actual time is 10.26. So, we're gonna go to settings. And let's, before we do that, let's go back And let's start our do recorder. Okay, and we'll start our do recorder. There we go. Let's start our do recorder. There we go. And you will notice that there is no Wi-Fi turned on, okay? And the time is 12. Now let's go into settings and let's go into internal networks and internet. There we go. And you notice that Wi-Fi is turned off. So let's turn Wi-Fi off and watch that corner, okay? We'll turn Wi-Fi on and watch that corner. When it connects, maybe you can't see that, but you'll see in the screen there. Now it says 1027. That's the problem. So let's get out of this. Up. And we're going to turn the Wi-Fi off again. Off. Okay. Let's just shut this down. Well, we better stop the do recorder first. Okay. Let's stop the do recorder. There we go. Stop the do recorder, okay, and we're shutting down. Shut down, okay. So everything's shut down and turned off, okay. I'm going to show you another clip here where I had Wi Fi turned on, okay, before I turned it off before, and this is when I noticed it. And a subscriber of mine mentioned it, and he also has a TX10, and we got chatting and saying, Yeah, there's a problem with the internal clock. So I sent these files to Femi, and one was this little clip I'm gonna show you where I suddenly turned the controller on, and the Wi-Fi was turned on, and it booted up, and as soon as the Wi-Fi connected, it like jumped six hours. I went, something's not right here. And then I did another experiment where I synced up the timing, so the internet was on, I synced up the timing, okay, then I turned the Wi-Fi off, and I turned the TX10 off. Just over an hour later, I turned it back on and I checked it with the PC clock and I'll show you this picture here. And it was out by about 16 minutes. So what do I do? Well, 
Femi sent me a one gigabyte file, a zip file containing a brand new updated flash programming for the TX10 controller. So they are aware of this problem. And maybe because it's just the batch one controllers. Okay, the first bunch that came out have this problem because now they know about it and then there's an update. So the new ones won't have this problem. But if you do notice this problem, then there is a fix and we're gonna go through that. Okay. <clears throat> so this is gonna be a screen recording of the entire flash process for the TX10 controller. It'll bring it back to factory basically and then you have to install the APK pack for the uh, Femi Navi 2020 and some other apps, etc. I'm gonna to have to reinstall uh, do recorder as well, I'm assuming. So it's a little complicated. It's not very user friendly, but <clears throat> because we are the first ones to have them, I'm assuming, you know, you take the good with the bad and you're going to be kind of a guinea pig and you work through the, the hassles and everybody's the same. If you get something brand new, as time goes on, they discover things that they never thought of before and didn't realize it was and they try and fix them. So hopefully this is a fix. So through this process you have to turn the controller into what they call a burning mode. Like a flash mode or a safe mode or whatever you want to call it. Okay, And it's a sequence of buttons you push and what it is is you press C5, C6, and C2 together and hold and then press the power button and then the lights come on and you connect the USB to the PC okay and that puts it in what they call burning mode and then you go through this sequence so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a screen recording I'm going to do from the PC of the whole process Okay, and I'll have slides maybe indicating what to do and what to push and which files and all that kind of stuff. Okay, so stay tuned, grab a coffee, and we're going to do a flash update to the TX10 controller. Here we go. Here we have the zip file that Femi sent us regarding the TX10 flash update. It's called TX10 zip. And it's just over one gigabyte, as you can see. We unzip that, we double click. And we basically just say unzip. And as you can see, it has unzipped a subfolder TX10. So we've unzipped the TX10 zip file and it's created the subdirectory of TX10. We double click in that and double click in this subdirectory again. And we see several files here. We don't worry about these two APK files yet, but they are very important later on. This one is actually the uh, Femi Navi app 2020, and this is a language app. We'll talk about that later. Our first step now is to install the driver, the USB driver. We go into Windows, and we see here a Fibrocom Qualcomm USB driver EXE. And we double click that. And it will say, do you want to install? Yes. So click OK. Now I've already installed it on here and it will ask you if you want to install over top of that. And I will say yes just for demonstration purposes. Install. And finish. Our next step 
is to install the flash tool and that is inside another folder up on top here the 2.7 installer 00488.1 double click that inside here we see a QPTS 2.7488.1 EXE and we will double click that and it will start its installation wizard and we wait for it to finish we select next we click accept next and we install complete next and install The installation has completed and we click finish. Let's go back to where we started from right here. The next step is to connect the TX10 controller. Be sure it's turned off before you start this and again if you haven't noticed this only works on a Windows computer here we go this is where we connect TX10 controller to the computer we press and hold C5 C6 C2 and then press the power button so let's do that now. I depress 5 and 6, 5, 6, 2, and press the power button. It powers up. I have a red flashing light. And what I do is I connect my USB to the controller okay just like that now if the flash installer does not start automatically you have to go and find it and it's easier to put it in the search engine as qfil q f i l and it's in the program directory but if you do a search for QFIL, Q F I L, it will come up. And you just select it. Now we first have to look at select the port which we do say OK we want a flat build next we have to browse for the programmer And we look in our computer. I think I know where I unzipped it. Mimi. Controller. This one. Here we are. 
and it's in the release documents. And we're looking for that's a program EMMC Firehose 8953 DDR MBN. Select that one and say open. Next, we have to load XML. So we load XML and we have to find the file raw program o update original xml open and it opens this other select a patch file patch 0 xml okay then we select download and we wait for it to finish its download. What it's doing is rewriting the entire TX10 controller. I should have mentioned it earlier. It's good to have at least 75% battery on your TX10 controller before you start this. And we wait until we see it say download success finish download and we click exit and we unplug the USB from the TX controller and then it says restart the TX10 controller well we have to stop it first so we press and hold the power button for about 10 seconds. Here we go. And it powers off. So now we're going to power on the controller for the first time. Let's see if anything changes. It says welcome. It says US English. See if we can change that to Canada. No. It says US English. No Canada. Okay. So let's go back. Go to next. The only thing on the screen is that, which is not important. Okay, so we swipe up and we have settings. Okay, we don't have any other apps except what's on here. Okay, so we go to settings. Let's set the clock first. Okay, might be a little 
light, but we're going to set the clock where it says system. Time and date. And we're going to set it to turn these off for now. I'm going to set the date July 26th. Now today is August the 17th. Mm -hmm. August the 17th. Okay. Set the time. And let's just cancel that and see if we can go to automatic time zone. Here we go. Region. Region is Canada. Canada. And we want Toronto. Okay. And we go back. On we have to set the time. It's twelve twenty two PM. Three. Okay. Go back out to system, and we are going to go to network. Wi-Fi on. I'm going to add my network. Gorilla Man. I'm just going to put in my password. We're connecting. Connect it. Go back back go back to our system date and time automatic automatic 1233 1223 yep that's right okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to install do recorder. It has an SD card in, so we're going to connect it to the PC. Connect it to the PC. On our PC in the background here you can probably see a little bit of it but nothing shows up so what we have to do is go back into here into connected devices USB and hit file transfer And watch the PC, and there it is. So, what we're going to do is, you can see that on the computer there. Hit that SD card, but we have to find those two files. So, we're going to go in here to where we were before, where we had that zip file. There we are, the two zip files there. Select them.
copy them. Okay. Go to our SD card. Okay. We already have do recorder there. And we're just going to paste them in here. There we are. And we're going to disconnect the USB here. Pull it out. Okay. It went down to RC Relay again. We'll back out of here. And we can just click the C2 button and hold. Swipe up, swipe up. We're back to the beginning. What I like to do is to put onto the screen here is the settings, press and hold. Let's try it again, press and hold. And release. Now then, if we go into here, we see files or file manager. If we hit file manager, allow at this corner here we go into SD card and we see we have the Femi there's three of them that one that one and that one the bottom one which is the TTS you only need I found out if you're interested in typing out Chinese okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna install the Femi app. Click. File manager settings. It's going to say if I want to authorize it. Yes. Go back. Install the Femi app. Is it too bright? Probably, but it's installing the Femi app. Installed, done. We're going to go back to the home page. We're going to swipe up. We're going to hold Femi. To the main page. There we go. Next, we're going to go in and we're going to install. What do we got here? Mm, yeah, okay, we're going to go to that one. We're going to install Do Recorder. It's going to say the same thing. Install Do Recorder, which is my screen recorder. It's done, and I'm going to go home page. I'm going to go up, hold the do recorder, move it, and put them over here. There we go. So that's all I've got. I've got the gallery, settings, Femi app, and the do recorder. Okay, let's press and hold this. And go to app info and we're gonna look and see it's version 1.04 build 20305 okay there we go so let's shut it down and we're gonna turn off the Wi-Fi okay swipe down we're gonna turn off the Wi-Fi and look at the time, 12.30. Let's shut this down. Okay, it's 12.30. I'm going to wait an hour, okay, and come back. And we're back. It's now, what is it, 1.30 p.m. Okay, let's look at this, if we can see that. 
1.30 p.m. Okay, let's look at this. I'm going to start up the controller. And let's see if it holds the time. Remember we turned it off at 12.30. The Wi-Fi is turned off, so this is just running on the internal battery. And there's still about 60% left on the battery. One thirty one. Look at that. It actually worked. Very good. Go back up here. It says one thirty one. So there you can see it there. One thirty one. And the Wi Fi is off. Okay, can you see that? Wi Fi is off. So it does work. That's very good. And we're down to fifty eight percent. Okay, we've got all our icons that we need. So this TX10 update flash is what will come with all the new TX10 controllers. And they fixed the internal clock mechanism of the controller. So that's a good thing, okay? Well, it was a bit of a journey we got there. See you in the next one. Thumbs up, Themy. Very good.